<clears throat> and we're on with another episode of I Turned On a Microphone. I'm Darren Liss Jr. I'll be your host today, and I'm joined here by Miller Farrow. Miller, how are you doing? Good. And I Turned On a Microphone is a podcast where we talk movies, life, love, and the pursuit of a good opening to a podcast. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Life Itself, the new Dan Fogelman movie. Um, that's going to be our main topic for today, but we're also we're going to open up with some news regarding the Captain Marvel trailer, the Joker image, um, Child's Play had just um, got some new actors in it, um, the Disney streaming service has some new Marvel shows, and they're remaking, they're remaking The Last Airbender again, which is good, hopefully, this time. Let's go ahead and get into it. Miller, how was your uh, week? How, how, you, how have you been enjoying uh, uh, Halloween Horror, Horror Nights? It's been a blast so far. Has, has anything actually scared you? or? Anything? I mean, I get like, uh, I jump in, in those type of things, so I get a lot of that. But there's one house you go in, and it's like uh, you it's like you're walking into a, into a photograph. That's like what the effect is supposed to be. Oh. So you like walk into a dark room, and like all these... Uh, zombies are like black lit. So that was that was scary because you keep bumping into people because you can't see anything. Hmm. And you got these you got these uh you got these scare actors uh trying to scare you. So yeah, I'd say that's probably like the the scariest it's gotten uh for this year. Well, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, we're going to be talking about the Captain Marvel f- trailer first up top. Uh, Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel, I think, is the 21st film, I think. Or the 23rd. It's either the 23rd or the 21st. Uh, film in the MCU. Uh, it just re- released its first tra- uh, teaser. It includes uh, blockbusters. It includes trains. It includes scrolls. Young Nick Furies. Uh, young Agent Coulson with Hawkeye's haircut for some reason. Beams. And an and elderly assault. Um, Miller, what did you think of the first teaser? Oh, that was good. I'm trying to I lost my train of thought. Um, it. Ha-ha. Oh yeah. Mm. It. Um. Yeah, I don't have it. I don't have a ton to say on it. To be honest, but I'm intrigued to see how be as Marvel plays with the the different decade. I hope it's not too much, but like the. Like, I like the blockbuster thing, but I think you could very easily, like, go too much with something like that. But, yeah, uh, I like Brie Larson, so I'm excited to see her in the role. And I think the uh, the effects, like, I saw, I saw someone complain about the effects with the uh, the de-aging, but I, I think it looks phenomenal. Yeah, I don't I don't notice it at all. I, I've seen two, I've seen a couple, couple of complaints. One of them I'll get into later, but one thing I don't really understand is, like, uh... Like it looks, I saw some people say like it looks cheaply made, and I'm just like, what the, what are you watching? So yeah, I don't understand that. But and also the aging, I I don't notice it really. I mean, I I don't even I don't, I would be surprised to find out if they actually did something to, uh, Clark Gregg because he just looks, he just looks like yeah, he's he didn't like, he didn't look that different. Yeah, but for me, I really liked like, it. I think they I think they did so. Yeah, but for me, I really liked it. I, I like for me the trailer has its own vibe. I, I, that's one thing I really liked. Like this has its, it feels like a, like a Captain Marvel movie. Like the spacefaring stuff, it looks like a good Green Lantern movie if you ever get one. Um, and I also think uh, like Brie Larson's sternness is a product of her being around space aliens. I've heard that complaint as well of like, oh, she has no no emotion or she's you know she doesn't smile as much, which you know that's not what. A lot of superheroes do. <laughs> you know, if you see first images of superheroes, they're usually frowning or have a very serious face. Um, but for some reason, she's getting a lot of criticism of that. Um, but like she says in the trailer, she has no idea where she who she is. She's a soldier. She's this, you know, toughest nails person that leads this uh, star force. So, um, and obviously, her mind's been messed with as well. So she's not going to be like all. She's not going to be all together. So I think that. That sternness, how she's coming off kind of blank and emotionless, I think that's a bit of the point. So, um, but yeah, other than that, like, the only criticism of the trailer is I wish we got to see more Captain Marvel action, but there's also a movie coming out in six months or so with a lot of Captain Marvel action, I would Yeah, don't get greedy, Dan. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, that, 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 (laughs) that's the only thing that really, uh... 
uh, bothered me about this trailer, but I can't wait. I, I really liked it. I like the music behind it, too. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I cannot wait for this movie. It's like when the uh, Venom teaser came out, and I was like, Venom's not in it. It's like, what, what did you expect him to be in it? Like, what? Well, I mean, the difference between this one is, you know, Captain Marvel actually did something. She just didn't do enough, you know. I'm just saying, mm-hmm. they actually showed the hero. They actually showed the title character instead of that other, uh, that other thing. But, you know, <laughs> we'll get on to so that. You'll de- so you'll definitely be watching the next trailer that gets released? No, I'll probably not, actually. I'm going to try not to. Because I, I think, cool. like, this one, like I said, not enough Captain Marvel action, but there is a movie coming, so... I wonder yeah. when they're going to release another, because they don't want to, I don't, they don't, I'm not sure if they want to collide with, uh, sorry to interrupt you, but, no, the, uh, Fucking I don't, I don't know if they want to, <laughs> I don't know if they want to, I interrupted you and I keep talking, but I'll just finish what I'm saying, um, the, I don't know if they want to collide with, uh, Avengers 4, or how they want to do with that. I think the next one is coming Super Bowl. I think they're, how they're going to do it is Avengers 4. That's in March. It's in March. So. Yeah, but that's still January. You still got four months, and it's a Marvel movie. That's February. It's February. Uh, when does this come out? March. March. Comes yeah. out March. I think they can still manage a two month push. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they, they're they've already, they're already getting people now. So yeah, I mean, because you're gonna have Avengers definitely in December, and then in December and November, then you have then you're gonna have Captain Marvel again in January or February. Or maybe do a January trailer and then a, a February Super Bowl spot along with a Captain with along with an Avengers Super Bowl spot. Did they have one for they had one for Infinity War? Did they? Yeah, and they yeah, also they had one know. for no, that was the only movie, right? Yeah, that was the only movie. I don't think Ant Man had one. So. Yeah, and I don't think Black Panther had one. No, it had those. I think it had like didn't it have those car commercials or something. I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, well, I mean, I guess you can just count. Anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I think, uh, I think it'll probably January or February that we're going to get in another one. But, yeah, I, I, it looks good to me. I like it. Uh, moving on to the Joker image. Joker is a movie that's happening for reasons. And, uh, director Todd, Todd Phillips took, took to his social media to post a picture of Arthur Fleck, uh, the, the man who will become the clown prince of crime. He looks pretty disheveled. In the picture, and I'm sure I've given an IKEA customer that look once or twice with like the squinty eye. So, uh, Miller, this is just a headshot, like most likely getting, and it most likely got posted to get ahead of the TMZ footage we saw, um, the behind the scenes footage that they uh, released. So, does this picture move the needle for you in any way, or is it just like that's just a picture? It's just a picture. It's just a picture. Okay. The needle has been moved as far as it possibly can be. Mm-hmm. I can't wait for Joker. It's like Todd Phillips is going to redefine cinema as we know it. He's going to give us uh, this generation's, uh, well, another, this generation's, uh, or this, I don't know where I'm going with that. Yeah, this, this generation's, like, this gen- uh, this gener- I know where you're going with this. This generation's American Psycho, as pointed out to us by our friend Dylan, already came out because... That was yeah. just generations. <laughs> um, um God, in the first half, well, the first half of the decade, we got Nightcrawler. So yeah. in the second half, we'll get Joker. That's better. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, this I like I like how they're not calling him. I will say I like how they're not calling him like something like Jack Napier or Jack or you know something with a J. Mm-hmm. I like that it yeah. is. This is their own character that they can do with what they want with. I know he becomes a character that is well known, but like this is Arthur Fleck. Whatever he goes through, I I like whatever you know. He's like forty ish, so he's been through a minute. He's been through a lot before he can become Joker, because they say he's been pushed out by by society and whatever. So you know, there's that, and yeah. I mean, I'm not. I won't. I I don't think I'll ever be like. I won't say that because they could release something that really blows me away. But I, my curiosity for this movie will always be higher than my um, caution for this movie. My, my, yeah, my curiosity will be always be higher than my caution for this movie because DC really doesn't have anything to lose right now. They, like, this is probably their best bet. Uh, this is, you yeah. know, everything's kind of falling apart, so just like, why the fuck not? So, um, 
so yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it, and you know, I just like I think I've said this before, but I like the possibilities that this movie can bring are better, are more exciting to me than this movie. So, we'll see. But as of now, this is just image. image. So, we'll move on to the next thing. Um, Arvue Plaza and Brian T. Henry, they're starring in Child's Play. It's going to be a contemporary reboot that is believed to follow a group of kids, a la It and Stranger Things, in a technologically advanced doll that enters the world. Um, how do you feel about that part? Um, can you repeat what you just said? I like, oh, like, a, like a Chucky is now going to be a technologically advanced doll instead of something like Supernatural. Um, kind of weird, but, um, I don't know. It makes more sense why they're doing a reboot than, because I forgot about that because I was like, because like Chucky is like, it follows it. It's been following its continuity, yeah, pretty well since the first movie, like having recurring characters and stuff. Uh, so I thought that was weird, especially when since the last one, Colt, I think it was Colt to Chucky. That was well reviewed. Yeah, and it's, I think it's one. Um, of, it's one of the few horror franchises that are actually still around that still follows its continuity. That hasn't been. Yeah, reviewed. because because most of them is like either rebooted or doing what Halloween does, where they reboot it and. Ignored mostly everything, um, which I don't have a problem with. But uh, it's just interest. It's just kind of refreshing what Chucky did. So that's weird, but it makes more sense with the uh, with doing um, the, with the route they're going. So I'm interested. I mean, the, um, oh sorry, good. The casting kind of gives me a different idea than what like what you just said with like. Well, kind of giving you like Stranger Things. Giving yeah, it's like Stranger, and also just giving you a little bit more, giving you a little bit more um, to your to what you so what you can talk about. Uh, Plaza, it's sources say that Plaza will play the mother of one of the children, and Henry and Henry is going to likely play a detective. But that's not confirmed, confirmed. But that's just what they're what they're hearing. That sounds really interesting. Um, yeah, I'm open to it. I think. Uh... I think if you reboot something like this, like in the state it's in, I think there's you might have a good reason. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm open to it. Um, hopefully it's not just it's not just throwing continuity, all this continuity out the window. But I don't know. I, they they could just continue with that one too if they want. I mean, I mean, my only trepidation with it, I I don't mind a reboot, but my only trepidation with it is like. Is the technology vibe, the technology vibe? I would have rather it be supernatural because there is an, another thing James Wan is producing that is about. I don't know. I forgot what it's called. I think it's Annie with a three. I think. Um, oh okay. Yeah. yeah, and it's about a doll that a mother buys. The doll gets really overprotective, and she tries to kill. Yeah, like she tries to kill uh, the the parents or whatever, and you know she gets. That her, sounds really fun. Yeah, it does. Um, but like, I don't want this to be really that similar and um, yeah and another thing i wish it wasn't like it or stranger things in the sense of i would have liked <laughs> i honestly would have liked the plot of annie three uh, or whatever the hell it's called annie or whatever it's called um to be the plot of this movie but not like yeah i agree the, the overprotective thing i like the whole entire a kid in a house with a doll the doll comes alive and it's a, a more confined and maybe the parents aren't believing him or him or her and, you know, that type of thing. I would have liked that a little bit more than, like, it's a group of kids and a group of kids are being tortured by this doll. It's like, yeah, so. Yeah, it's like Ed and Stranger Things. It's like, oh, yeah. it's all the same. Yeah, but I mean, hey, it still could be good. They still could find a fresh take on it. And I think if uh, Henry plays a detective, he's going to get killed in the worst way. I feel yeah. like if, he, if he's a detective, that doll is going to fuck him up. But uh, other than that, I really like the cast. Arby Plaza is one of my favorites, and Brian T. Brian Tyler Henry or Brian T. Henry, he's blowing up. He's going to be, he's in White Boy Rick. He's going to be in, in Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. Um, he's in Widows. He's going to be in a lot of. So is he in Spider Man? He's playing Miles' dad. Oh okay. So he's in a lot. So good on him. Uh, mm-hmm. Anything else to say about uh, Child's Play? No, I maybe maybe I'd wish they called something different. 
but, I thought it was um, child's play. I like I like that title. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. It just seems kind of weird to like you're making a big deal about like rebooting this and then only to have like the story seem different, which is a good thing, but it's just kind of like I, I don't know. It's just it's just kind of odd um, to me, but um, but I guess if you want to like. Because it's it, no, actually, it makes sense because it's like a good way of like saying like we're starting over. Yeah, and you know, name recognition mm-hmm. makes yep. money. But moving on to the next one, um, per variety is uh, the, the Disney streaming service. Uh, per variety is the Disney streaming service is in early development on an ambition an ambitious plan for a number of limited series centered around popular characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The series. Will likely include shows centered on Loki and the Scarlet Witch, along with other beloved heroes who have yet to, to appear in their own standalone films. Uh, these won't be like the Netflix shows, um, due to the fact that they'll have higher budgets, rivaling those. They'll be acknowledged. Ones. Yeah, <laughs> that's a that's a big one. They will be. Yeah, they're actually you know they're not sitting at a table in a closet. They're actually going to be invited to um, invited to the table. Um, their budget, their budget is going to be higher, rivaling those of major productions. Each series will be expected to have six, six to eight episodes, which is a godsend. I'm tired of thirteen, thirteen hour um series, and the series will be overlooked by um, Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige. So that's another thing that they'll have over Netflix. They're not going to have Ike Perlmutter and Jeff Loeb. Um, they're going to. Does Ike Perlmutter still do it? Yeah, he uh, yeah, oh. Jeff Jeff Loeb um uh, reports to Ike Perlmutter. So. And uh, I really like this news. <laughs> like, I really, really like this news. Because it's not... At first, I guess I read it wrong the other day. I thought it was animated. But it's not. It's going to be a more... It's going to be live action. And bringing back these actors, whether it be Tom... Like, if they do bring, do bring back a Loki, they, he can he can be... Um, we can see, like, what was he up to between... The- Have you heard me eating just then? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Yeah, cut you. You can just start over, everyone. I thought I had my thing on mute. I know. Yeah, you know, you didn't. You didn't. You, you bastard. You know, you, you have you have your you know, like y'all. You're chewing in my ears and everything. It's crunching. You should have said something. No, I don't want to be rude. Like you're being rude. One of us has to be the bigger person here. Okay. <laughs> can you imagine if they made a fucking Lo- Loki show and they didn't get Tom Hiddleston back? <laughs> like, who would care? I mean, then I guess they could just do like female Loki or kid Loki. Um, I'm good. No, okay. But, um, but, uh, what was I saying? Lost my train of thought. Oh my god. But yeah, I think a Loki idea, a Loki is a good idea. Scarlet Witch, I find a very interesting character. She just has a lot of trauma behind her. And I think there's a lot of, like, her powers are still yet to be explored. Um, but o- over all of this, I really wanted uh, a Hawkeye series. That That's what I want more than anything. It, uh, the Matt Fraction, um, Hawkeye series is probably one of the best things Marvel has ever released, and then you can also bring in Kate Bishop, which is an, also a very interesting character to Hawkeye's legacy. So there's a lot to do there. You can make a Black Widow Hawkeye series. There you can do uh, instead of making a Black Widow movie, you can make a TV show. It's just there's a lot of stuff you could do here, and this also gets me more on board with the actual Disney streaming service because nothing has really sold me just yet. Uh, I like the Clone Wars stuff. Um, but this 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 type of thing. If I like it, the high school musical show. I don't. Um, it, this type <laughs> this type of thing. Look, the only way the only way I would have watched a high school musical show if it's just twelve hours of Zac Efron still stuck in those spinning hallways. He never got out. That's the only way. Like it's Inception, except High School Musical. That's the only way I would watch. But um, yeah, this this really gets me on board with it. This is actually something I might buy now. But how, what about you? What do you think about this? Um, um, I think it sounds cool. The I don't really have any interest in the shows they have presented thus far. I like those characters, but as far as like actual, like I'll probably watch them um, to like keep up to date with stuff, say culturally relevant. But the um, <laughs> gotta keep up with the kids. But, yeah, but uh, I just I really have no interest now. In what what is something Loki or? Scarlet Witch what show. would have been something that they announced that would get you more on board? Like, is there a character, is there a tertiary character that you would have liked to see 
brought to light a little bit more while watching one while watching one of these movies. Yes, three words: Howard the Duck. Oh my god, that's perfect. How did it's I perfect. not see this? How the fuck? Yeah, did I, yeah. How did you not? I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> um, yeah. So he needs he needs to he needs redemption. Um, James Gunn started it, but we all know that how that turned out. Um, and um, but maybe once James Gunn gets out of jail, director's jail, they can um, with Marvel he can go do a, one of these shows. But um, I think a Hulk show would be cool too. Yeah, a Hulk show would be good. Cool. I don't know how they would do it with the expense. But, I mean, maybe you could do that one animated. But uh, yeah, Hulk show would be why? Good. What do you mean? Like... You you think they would actually like? go full force with animated the Hulk on the streaming service? Yeah. Well then you know, actually yeah, I yeah, don't, why not? They wouldn't. If they want if they want people to take these shows seriously, they're gonna look like the movies. Alright, well yeah, you're right. <laughs> Dual Hulk Sorrow. Well actually yeah they're Hulk, giving Hulk, Hulk, Hulk worked as a show before too. Well that was a very different Hulk show. Well yeah. But you know the Toro was doing one was trying to do one, so you bring him back. Oh yeah that is true. Oh yeah, She Hulk. They can make a She Hulk. Oh no, I wouldn't her to. Do... She probably. Yeah, she Hulk. She Hulk would, would be perfect for that. Yeah, but I would actually want her to do a movie. Well, I guess you could do a TV show because she's also a lawyer. It'd be funny if uh, if Hulk got a TV show and She Hulk got a. My movie. She Hulk. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh. he's been in the movies first, so. That's it. Trade off. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Well, yeah, it just means like it just means like oh, Mark Ruffalo's been like yeah, I'd love to do a. The Hulk movie, and they're like, TV show. That's what you get. Damn you! But yeah, I mean, I, li- I really like this idea, and this is something that actually might get me to buy the Disney streaming service. When it comes out in 2019, well, probably not immediately, because these shows aren't in production yet. They're still looking for writers. They gotta have too. something. They gotta have something, then. Well, they're gonna have Captain Marvel, know. they're gonna have Dumbo, they're gonna have the Star Wars streaming service. That's already... I think that's already... I think uh, Favreau's are either writing it or... He, um, okay, so that'll be ready. Yeah, so that'll probably be ready. Um, Lady and the Tramp will probably be ready. They're already going to have all of their movies on there um, when they're when it's ready to go. Um, uh, that's it, right? Uh, the High School Musical Show, and there's... Oh, Monsters, Inc. They're also making a Monsters, Inc. television show. So they're going to have some stuff on there. I don't know if that's all to launch, but hopefully... What's the Monsters, Inc.? show about God doing us. Um, hold on. If they can get John Goodman and um, the other guy back, that would cool. Oh, yeah. They, I'm sure they will. Shoot. Disney Fox can't bet on this. They're not, uh, they're not DC. Yeah, and that's another thing. I think they, they did a good job. I think they are watching that very closely. <laughs> yeah, they're like <laughs> fucking idiots. <laughs> You got issue nineteen of Doom Patrol, but nothing else. <laughs> it's like the it's like the it's like the truck full of uh, or the ship full of all the DC stuff ever on the way to the to get it put on um, the website um, sunk, but and only like some stuff was recovered. <laughs> Okay, they didn't say what it's about. They just said it's a spinoff. Uh, I don't know when it's landing. Wait, the streaming price prop on is expected. In 2019, current plans have all Disney branded. Oh, well. Oh, and they're also going to have Toy Story 4, The Lion King, and, the Lion King and Frozen 2 on there. But when the hell does Frozen 2 come out? 2019. November, I think. Okay. Yeah, I keep forgetting about it. Hmm. All right, so well, last thing before our main topic, uh, Last Airbender is finally getting a remake. It's finally getting some type of good live action thing. I really wish it was a movie instead, but I will deal with this. Yeah. Uh, the Last Airbender is probably the worst movie I've ever seen. It no, it still is. It still is the worst thing I have ever laid my eyes on. That was a great. That was a great theater experience. So. As bad as a movie was. I'm sure it was. Um, my little brother kept trying to get up, and I wish I followed him out of the theater. I wish I did. Um, Wait, what do you mean, kept trying to go? He just—he was just really. I think he was five. 
at that time. <laughs> so he just kept trying to like get up and go to the de- get get up and walk out because he couldn't really like kids can't sit still. Yeah. Um, oh. Okay. So I just I tried to follow him. I wish I did. I really wish I did. I had to see Toy Story three after this movie to wash the taste out of my mouth. Um. This is just a horrible, horrible movie. That was just a really bad movie. Shyamalan took all the fun and all the lights. I saw it in 3D. I don't know why I saw it in 3D, because I knew it was going to work like Class of Titans. I did. I mean, you didn't know, because that's when, like, 3D was all the hype. No, never... but Clash of Titans had happened already. So, I like, I was... <laughs> I don't know if I knew, but I was just... I just assumed. Yeah. But um, Brian uh, D. Martino and Brian, I can't say your last name, but Brian K. Uh, will be bringing the Last Airbender back to the small, to the big, well, the small screen uh, with a live action reimagining of Avatar: The Last Airbender. The show will be produced by Netflix and overseen by its creators. Um, and production will begin in 2019. They actually released some concept art, which looks pretty cool. Um, the creators yep. had this to say about the adaptation: We're thrilled for the opportunity to helm this live action adaptation of Avatar: The Last Airbender. Uh, we can't wait to realize Aang's world as a cinematically as cinematically as we always imagine it to be, and uh, with a culturally appropriate non-white wash cash cast. Thank you guys, um, and a once in a lifetime chance to build upon everyone's great work on the original animated series and go deeper and in, even deeper into the characters, story, action, and world building. Netflix is wholly de- get dedicated to manifesting our vision with this retelling, and we're incredibly grateful to be partnering with them. Miller, did you ever watch the anime series? I did a little. It was never really my thing. Yeah, this is like this was like my Star Wars in a way. Like this, re- I loved all these characters. I loved the world they built, um, the adventures that went on, the tragedy. Tragedy. I like how it never really, never really talked down to kids either. Um, I still watch it from time to time. I have the box set. I like this is probably my favorite um, cartoon. I really, really little favorite non superhero country or whatever. Um, yeah, I really, really love the show, and I and I like how they're retelling the series. I do like the the idea because there is stuff in the series that you can dig more deeper into. Uh, there's stuff that happens in between the seasons, uh, and also they can keep this going past season three because they actually expanded expanded upon this mo- expanded upon some of the stuff. In comic books, so the seasons, so they did like a season four, they did like a season five, and they kept going. And also, Netflix can now do the Legend of Korra too, which is an which is an uh, follow up follow up animated series that takes place seventy years afterward. So Netflix pretty much has that's one of the things I really hated about Par- Paramount. Paramount, they've always been looking for a franchise. They've had this thing in front of them, like this could be their Star Wars, and you're you can have. Two franchises spanning multiple films, uh, but they never touched this thing again, which was weird. But I guess you can say like the failure of the. They're probably just scared, yeah. Yeah, but like you know, I think it's it's enough time has passed. People still like the show. The fans are still there, uh, so try it again. But I'm glad you know they're allowing this to go to Netflix and allowing this to live. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So. Hopefully, hopefully this can be good. It'll be so hilariously funny, though, if they screw this up again. If it's worse than the movie. Yeah, if it's worse than the movie, then holy shit. <laughs> but, um, it'd also be funny if they, like, invite M. Night Shyamalan to direct an episode. It's just like, hey, dude. They show, oh my god, they show it. Oh my god. Do you, oh. Do yes. you want redemption? <laughs> like, he can, he's, he's, he's having, he's about to complete his... His masterful trilogy. Yeah. The just let the let all look, let's close all the doors. Yeah. So I think he's I think he's already been walking back into our hearts and minds though because he's made like the visit split. Not in last day, but but yeah, last Bender. Good God, man. Um, I love yeah. how he got all the names wrong. Yeah, Soka Ong. So <laughs> funny. What the fuck is? This? And, like, it's funny, like, you look at the cartoon, it's just like, those aren't white people. Yeah, it's fu- it's <laughs> funny for me because I'm an asshole and I didn't care about the show. But then you have people fucking flip out in the theater, like, like the, they, they, this was part of their childhood and he, they was just massacred. Do you remember Reels, the Reels channel? Oh, they're so good. Yeah. Do, so do they you remember- took the video off. Ah, oh, God, that was so perfect. I shaved I mean, no, my head on, for this. They... 
Yeah. It was like, it was just like these usually those, like, most, even with like bad movies, you mm-hmm. get people who like them on those. On those type of like band reviews things. But like, that was one where it was just like, everyone was like, fuck. Yeah, this was, this was like prequel level bad. It was insane. Yeah, but moving into something truly insane, let's talk about oh. life itself. <laughs> Shall we? Um, so mm-hmm. Life Itself, I don't really know how to describe this movie. Miller, just help me out here. Uh, Life Itself is a Dan Fogelman directed, written and directed film. Um, it is, he's from, he's the creator of Life, he's the creator of This Is Us, correct? It's the creator of Life, yes. He's the creator uh, of Life. He's God. But, um, and he did, uh, what did he, he wrote, I guess? Yeah, he wrote, uh, Crazy Stupid Love. Really? Yeah, that's that why it's insane. so weird. insane. I love that movie. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. No, I don't believe you. No, there's no way. I look up Dan Fogelman. And... That's what I'm doing, right? Oh, he did yeah. Danny Collins, too. I didn't know that. There is no way. You oh, might frozen? That's tangled? Dan Fogelberg. What the hell? There's no way he's directed. How does... How did he, he, wrote, uh, he I mean, he still got this is us, so he's good. Um, he wrote me Earl in the... De- oh, no, he was a producer. No, okay, never mind. He wrote uh, Tangled. He did? Yeah. What happened? He wrote Bolt, too. Which Bolt is... I, I like that movie. Uh, he wrote Cars, too. Car, no, not, he wrote Cars, too, which is fucking terrible. But he also wrote Cars, which is pretty good. I think Cars gets too much shit. Yeah, Pokemon had a lot to do with it. all this stuff that I had no idea yet. Seriously, had. he was a producer in Mia on the Dying Girl. Uh, Las Vegas is actually not that bad. I like how you like look through. You look through all his. What do you do in Las Vegas? Uh, writer. Oh, okay. Um, you uh, you look through like all his work and you see people from like This Is Us and and Life Itself just like sprinkled in throughout. Yeah, you can also see like a run, running theme of sadness. Yeah. <laughs> but, especially, especially descended on to Olivia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're gonna die in this one. But uh, so how do you, Miller? What, what's the what's the what is life itself? Um, it's a movie where um, it's very literal. It's probably it it may be the most literal movie I've ever seen. <laughs> Um, because it's just, it's so, like, it's like someone winking at you the entire time when you're watching it, and it's kind of, like, uncomfortable, but we should definitely do spoilers, it's hard, you can't not talk about this movie without talking about yeah, spoilers. Yeah, this is, this is, yeah, just, just go, go. Yeah, so either you don't care, or you want to see it, and Look, let me, Let's it just give us our initial thoughts, uh, just before, before we go to spoilers. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, so it's about... about you go ahead. Oh, yeah, it's just about all these people and how their life is like interconnected. Yeah, uh, which which Dan Fogelman loves to do. Um, it's like sort the, of an anthology. It loves, mm-hmm. It's sort of an anthology in a way. Oscar Isaac is an Arthur who suffers a tragedy, and you like see his life. You know his life. And then you follow his daughter, and then you see she suffers a tragedy. And then you see his her life. And then you follow this other kid that suffers a tragedy, yeah, and then you follow her. his life. And then it's just like what what's the spoiler? Did you know it was his daughter in the trailer? No. Okay. Um, I mean, sorry, but <laughs> but like you, 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 the movie we'll just is go about, back and put a spoiler warning. Yeah, over this. The, the movie is literally just about a bunch of people. You follow their lives. Tragedy ensues. Something gets a little happier. Tragedy ensues. Wrench, rush, or repeat. Um, <clears throat> my initial thoughts on the movie: I didn't oh. hate it. I do no. not hate this movie. It is fine. I actually love Dan Fogelman's direction and what he got out of his cast. Um, I think there's a there's a scene between Antonio Banderas and another actor I can't remember his name right now that is super tense. It kept me really locked in. Ten, Antonio tells his great story. Um, I think it's my favorite f- uh, scene in the movie. Um, I didn't hate it, but this reminds me a lot of a Monster Calls, where it is truly a manipulative piece of work. And as Miller said. You you get it. You get it within the first fucking thirty minutes. You get what the fuck is trying to say, and they just keep 
telling you and telling you and telling you. It's just like, I get I get the message every damn movie. Just go ahead and end. I, I mean, I live this. So it's just like, I don't know. But Miller, your initial thoughts? Um, I was excited for this movie because I heard it was like bad shit insane. Like, this is 2017, 18, um... Collateral beauty. Look ahead. Yeah, right? we will. Which, we will go into the craziness. <laughs> yeah, months. which I I don't know if I'd say like comparing them is like I I'm not sure about I probably like Book Ahead anymore, but um no I probably like this more than Collateral Beauty because Book of Henry is just like I admire that movie. I will um, go Collateral. Collateral Beauty, well, I'll go Collateral first. <laughs> no, um, Collateral Beauty, uh, at the Collateral Beauty last, Book of Henry second, then this movie. I will never watch Book of Henry again. That movie fucked me up. I will never watch that movie again. I admire Book of Henry it. is just... Never again. I'm glad, I, like, I heard, like, it was crazy, but, like, I didn't hear exactly, like, how crazy it was, because that movie is... That movie, oh, God, that movie's insane. Yeah, that movie is just like you're in the middle of watching this and like the it's going down and you're just like what the hell is happening? <laughs> um, it's beautiful and this movie it's just you're it's so um yeah it's just so literal and so like beats you over the head like I think there's a good movie in here um I think but there, just, a lot of it is a good movie. Yeah, a lot of it. Yeah, a lot of it worked. It's well, just some like, of it is a good movie. Or some, yeah, okay. Um, just how it's like interconnected is very, it's very weird. Um, I think some of the yeah. interconnectivity hurts the characters because there are certain characters I forget. Like I forget, sometimes I forget whose movie this is because you're just like, oh, that's okay. kind of the point. You know I mean, I, okay, okay, all right. But, like, there's um, just certain characters I was tied to. It's just like, well, I completely forgot about them. And then, oh, wait, they're back. Yeah, but it's just, like, I I would get invested, and then it would move on to the next story. Which yeah, I think is kind of... A, that, yeah, well, I guess that, that's... Which is the point, but it just kind of... It just kind of... It didn't entirely work. It worked better for the Olivia Cook thing, because they tied that back in. But, like... Oscar Isaac shoots himself, and you're just like, okay. Wait, are we, wait, 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 wait. Yes, we're doing spoilers. We're doing spoilers now? Yeah, we're just... We, we already fucking spoiled Okay, the... fine, fuck it. We're going to do spoilers. <laughs> it's all spoilers. You can go back and report something. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. It's it's fuck it. It's just, it's just keep going. <laughs> Oscar Isaac <laughs> I, I know. I kind of wanted to go through that. Because I had no... I didn't know... This was like a Fantastic Four situation for me, because... The first twenty minutes of this movie, I was just like, "What is everyone talking about?" Like, I, I am. Oh, I knew. I in the very beginning, I was like, "This is fucked." <laughs> no, I was just like, "I am hooked into this. Like, I like it a lot." There's, you know, I, the dialogue's really snappy. Oscar Isaac's character's a little weird. The way he comes on to Olivia Cook, like that was that kind of threw me off a little bit. That kind of made me a little, oh, wow. little uh, Olivia. Sorry, Olivia uh, Wild. That would have been weird. Um, <laughs> You said what? Both named Olivia. Yeah, and like how? Yeah, that was just a little weird and off putty. Uh, some people were like uh, all in the audience. It was just like that's this is kind of creepy. But <laughs> but what then, do you mean? He's like a little speech sure? Not, the speech a little bit, but also like when he put like the toy gun in his mouth. I was just like, dude, you're kind of creepy. Yeah, like, maybe. But he he, he apologized <laughs> right after. <laughs> but um. So there's that, and then I understood he was going. She was acting stuff. like it was a real gun. Yeah, but I mean, still, that would freak you out a little bit. I, I, I understand. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, you, she's just acting like he's about to really actually kill himself. But um, but there's that, and then uh, I liked how he was like singing in the coffee house because something happened to him. I was really interested to see what happened to him, and uh, fuck, what else? There's something else before we get to before we get to that point. Um, oh, and, like, the Samuel Jackson thing was kind of funny. Uh, and then, yeah, he fucking shoots himself. <laughs> and someone screamed in the audience. <laughs> like, someone actually, someone was just like, when he did it, someone was like, ah! 
It's fucking. He perfect. blew his brains out, and then like, it, um, what's her, what's her name? And that Benning. And that Benning uh, runs out of the office, and then the it just sits on him for a second, and then uh, uh, then a scene before that, Olivia Wilde gets hit by a bus, and I'm just like, and someone shout, someone said, "What is this movie?" <laughs> and so, and then like they they linger on. They they fucking they linger on Oscar Isaac's dead body and it's just like, what the fuck? Did it, what are we watching? Well, at first I wasn't sure if it was real. At first yeah, I, I, sure I, thought, I thought he was going to get up. I, I thought he was going to like get up and be like, haha, I'm the narrator or whatever. Because they've been they they were doing that shit the entire. They were doing that the entire movie yeah. where they're like playing with like what's exactly happening, which I mean it's the point, but. But yeah, that was just fucking insane, and then the movie still kept going. And the movie just escalated, and then I got really into it because I like I like Olivia Cook, and I thought that was um, but um, but yeah, I I like Olivia Cook, and I and I got um, I got invested in that, and then it just goes to. Another plot line, which I'm, I'm kind of just like, eh. like it just lost. Like it, it got me. I got more. I got interested again, mm-hmm. but it just kind of lost me for a while. Where it was just like, okay, you just keep getting me invested and pulling me out. Which one? Which one was it's, that? It was like how it went from like Olivia Cook, and they mm-hmm. kind of just like Oscar Isaac. I get it because you, he killed himself. It's done. Um. <laughs> But then Olivia Cook, I'm like, okay, we're gonna keep going with this, and then it goes right, it goes right to the, the Antonio Bears guy. Yeah. When you get in, when I get interested in it. But um, I mean, they were they worked it back around. Yeah, she. It, I think she got probably got the shortest end of the stick out of everybody. Yeah. Because like um, that is a very interesting story. Hey, both of my parents died tragically, and then, like, my grandparent has to raise him, which I am so fucking glad they didn't kill the grandfather. I mean, because yeah, this is this type of movie. They're, even the the granddaughter, I thought the podium was going to explode or some shit. Because I was just like, what else you got? I mean, like, why the podium was going to explode? Because this is this kind of, this is this type of movie. It's just like, you know, good thing, bad thing, good thing, worse thing. It's just like, so I'm I'm so glad they did not kill the grandfather, and also what he meant to say was really sweet. Like you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna get ten more years out of this old decrepit body to see you grow up in your teens. It's just like that is really sweet and earnest. Oh yeah, I wish you would have said that. I, I'm fine that he didn't. I'm I'm fine that they did the turnaround because you know people do that. Like people do do. I, yeah, people do. I mean, I I don't know. It's just I, it was someone like with the with someone like that. Who's been to that much? I don't know. Maybe maybe it would have been better to be, to be like completely honest with her. Yeah, but also you're talking to a kid. Yeah, that's true. Tell her that one. Yeah. Tell her that one. She's older. <clears throat> yeah, but this movie, and, and then so did you like the? Uh, what also like kudos to this movie for using subtitles uh, throughout. That, that was really cool. Um, I did like did <laughs> like the the. Uh, the Spanish storyline, but I didn't. And I guess I know that was the this was the point. But yeah, I the really, whole movie's really talking tagline is that's this is the point. Yeah, but it's just like I wish they didn't do the switcheroo with the you own. Know, you know, don't you know? Don't be careful with the heroes you follow because some of them might be dicks. It's just like I, don't, I just didn't need another fucking sad thing. Well, it's, it's like, like okay, yeah, it's like you kill the. You kill the first one, you just abandon the second one for most of the movie, so it's like... Eh. <laughs> how do you feel about... I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. How did you feel about the pregnancy scare? <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> um, that was another, like... The... I mean, the only reason... I think that's crazy to do in itself... But the the only reason I think it kind of it works for this movie is because he had no idea what April Fool's Day was, and they set that up well. Yeah. 
because like he just, he was new to all this stuff. And then um but like as soon as soon as he went to college, I was like, okay, when's he gonna meet Olivia? Yep, same here. Um, Good. but yeah, it's just, and they they have a dog and they name it Fuckface. Like, come on. Yeah. Um, I thought, that's I, like... for a second I thought the baby was Fuckface. Because <laughs> I thought later on she was like, "You're smashing Fuckface." It's just like, so did you just? Are you calling your kid fuckface? Like, what, what's going on? No, but the dog, the dog bowl said fuck. Yeah, but like when they revealed the pregnancy, which I think that was a really cool reveal. But when they revealed that, I was just like, you thought the, you thought the dog didn't exist? And it was yes, just the baby. Yes, I did. That's exactly <laughs> what the that. Dog that would have. <laughs> that, that wouldn't have been surprising. It's like the Matrix. There is no spoon. There is no dog. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's just... It's not the Predator, yeah, I'll give it that. It's more interesting. <laughs> I don't know, it's more interesting than the Predator. No, no it's not the Predator. I think this movie is a lot better <laughs> than the Predator. I think... I think just... Oh, God. I think it's getting too much shit. I haven't read anybody, I, but it's just like the 9%. I just want to scroll through. I could see that. But I think like I know, what got it. me exci- what got me excited about it, I think it kind of lives up to that. Just how insane it gets. But I think that's where it's coming from too, because people will just find it manipulative and schmaltzy, and it's like it's made to make you cry. Which something like it does. I think. War- Fuck it me. works better in something like This Is Us because it's more natural most of the time. Like they do, they do try too hard, and like in the season two finale, they they did like a a specific thing, and you're just like, that's stupid. Um, the gymnastics this movie goes to to make you cry is insane. Yeah, it's just especially. It with just the- it just could have been tied a lot tighter. So yeah, uh, life itself should should people see it, Miller? Uh, what, what do you what do you think? Yeah, I think people just do. I don't it's know. This is one of those. This is one of those movies. You know what? Just like... Save it for Netflix. Uh, and maybe not go to the theater. Save but... it for Am- it's, it's it's gonna be on Amazon Prime. It's on okay. Yeah, save it for Amazon Prime. Wait, Jeez, I think, what, six months. You get it in six months. Save it for Amazon Prime. Watch it at home with some tissues and some. Some Hazendays or Hazendays? What the fuck? Um, Holland. Hazendas? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good. I think that's a good. We give like we saw it for free. Um, yeah, but I think like the stuff that is good is good, and the stuff that is insane is absolutely insane, and it's worth it's worth uh, it's- going to. If you have the pleasure of seeing this with a full audience, then do it. Like, if your audience is mostly sold out when you're buying your ticket and you have reserved seating, get that fucking ticket. Because my audience yeah. was a blast. My, audi- my audience was in- really into it. They, like, they clapped they, at they, the end. They clapped at the end, too. My audience class. I was like, uh, yeah, um, I'm just like, I'm going to see what the Screen X theater looks like. Did you go? Yeah, I did. Did it cool? You, yeah, I sent you a video. I don't know. It doesn't actually have screens, but like the the walls are really weird in a way. So I guess they they kind of reflect off of it. Was it was there anything playing? Uh, no, unfortunately not. It was just the uh, oh. the movie <laughs> movies or whatever the hell it's called with Maria Menounos. Oh, okay. Ben, anything else you want to say on this piece of shit? <laughs> no, not piece of shit. That's too mean. Um, no, this, it's... this thing that happens that happened. Yeah, just a very, very bizarre movie all around. Like some of the dialogue choices are just like, excuse me. Um, like what? Do you have anything? The um, like how when they bring up the. The mom is glad that Olivia's well, parents are dead. Yeah, that was not funny. Like, I was like, I get that it's not supposed to be 
good, but I'm just like, I'm surprised that someone thought of that, put that in there. Yeah, and that she kept fucking saying it. Like, you don't <laughs> keep <laughs> saying it. I was like, um... Yeah, but it's just one of those movies that tries to be very, like, uh... Yeah, like, interconnected, like, oh... She lost both of her parents, and her dad left in a way. In a way, he left. Um, does, does that mean his dad's gonna be uh, gonna shoot himself too? What do you mean? No. <laughs> and, the, um, and then the the other the the guy's mom died, and his dad left. It's like okay, yeah, we get it. Trying okay. to be all all cute. Um, but yeah, some of some of it works. I would have liked to see more of Olivia Cook. That kind of left the sour taste in my mouth for a little bit, and I was like, I'm really, in, I'm really into this. And then it's just it, it got completely, and they just um moved on like from that, and I'm just like. It's like, what am I watching now? It's like, oh, it seems random, but it's not because it's got they got to tie it in some how. But yeah, I think it's easier to get through than some of the reviews are saying. But um, it feels really long. It does, yeah. Before um, you. but I think it lives up to like the craziness that people are yeah saying. This isn't Buggy Henry though. No, yeah, it's... this this is not like this. Book of Henry is a fucking roller coaster. This is just like a little. This is like a. It's it's up there with collateral beauty, though. Yeah, it's definitely up there with that. Book of Henry is just God bless them. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I would have loved to have seen like. Uh... If this was, a I mean, I did. I, I, kind of, I did kind of see. Yeah, that's true. I did kind of see Book of Like, there were a good amount of people when I saw Book of Henry, but, like, nobody was really, like, reacting. I don't think I don't think I don't know. It's... God. So, yeah, that was, uh... That was, that was our... That was our podcast. <laughs> that was Life Itself, our Life Itself review, and our news bits. Um, that yeah. was it. Um, if you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you guys like, uh hearing your thoughts on movies uh please hit that subscribe button um if you've seen life itself or if you have the pleasure to uh definitely um leave your thoughts below and whether you liked it or hated it i want to know uh whether or not how people feel about this film because i don't think i think it's getting too much hate i don't think it's the worst thing ever but also if you dislike it i guess i get it um, and yeah, so next week I don't know what we'll be talking about, but in October we're going to be talking about the Halloween films, uh, in, leading up to the release of Halloween, the thing that should be titled something else. So, with all that being said, um, this is, I turn the, fire, I turn the microphone, signing off.